what's up guys welcome back to another video i know mano said it's been a while like i know but i've been just going through the motion but i'm here now and let's get straight into this video so the other day i posted a poll on my instagram you know with ideas and you guys voted this topic you know for today and we're going to get right into it so of course we're going to talk about the whole pandemic situation and i have to be very careful of how i say things so i'm we're not going to call it ovid 19 if you get what i'm saying we're going to call it ugly 19 so we're going to talk about it and you guys know that i am in japan living in japan so you guys want to know how it's been here how i've been coping and all of that if you see me looking down i'm just looking down at my notes so just that's why okay so first i'll be talking about me and then i get into it so i've been trying to like you know keep my mental health in check so i don't try to worry or think about it too too much because after i watched the movie contagion i was definitely tripping like i was worried i was worried sick and then I'm a Christian, so they're not like come to my senses, and I'm like the spirit of fear is not within you, girl. But that's how I go. So, so you know, I've been just trying to stay positive, and I've been doing my part, washing my hands every five seconds, like my hand them dry, washing my hands, sanitizing, um, all of that stuff, <sighs> like. Trying to find the things that you need in this time can be such a hassle. My good, good man. Send me must buy. This at this way. The 600 I had. <laughs> so, when they tell me, so me need to start buying one special washcloth, reusable cloth. Touch it. Six hundred, almost a thousand dollar. Yeah, my extra almost a thousand dollar in my eyes. That basically seven hundred for. Listen, man. I remember when I find alcohol wipes, I was so relieved and all of that. But I've been, you know, wearing my mask, sanitizing, washing my hands, and doing the little that I can to lessen the chance of me getting this ugly nineteen thing. Um, I'll be splitting this video in two parts. So I'll be talking about the positive things. And then I'll talk about the negative things as you know pertaining to how Japan handle ugly 19 all right so whew, the first thing I like or admire is the fact that these people are trying their best to find a, a drug that will you know help to cure this thing like hand like hats off to them Based on what I've heard and I've, you know, read, it seems that I'm really a try for fine. Something that will work. And you know, if you know anything about Japan, you know that these people will use their te technological resources and put it, you know, to, to good use. So, God bless them lab technicians and all of them lab technicians, as they call them. The, all the researcher the researchers in japan trying big up to them okay the next thing that i like is that it's kind of mandatory it's like this social rule that everybody wear a mask i'm a like that it's not it's not like a mask going to fully protect you 100 percent but it lessens the chance of you spreading it you, you get what i'm saying so i like that and it's been people been wearing masks here for as soon as it gets cold and you know December time and influenza season start coming around that was something that was a shocker for me it was really a shocker because like I'll be in a classroom and say it's 35 students 25 20 students wearing a mask and I'm like okay this is just normal are my teachers in mask I have one teacher that I've worked at that school for almost a year and I've never seen her face I've never seen a full face, even in summer she have on a mask. I'm like, I don't know if she's paranoid or something, but I can get 
to the whole thing of you know protecting yourself against anything so I like that it's kind of mandatory um, so the students wear, have to wear masks, teachers have to wear masks um, business place if you're going to work you have to wear a mask so I forgot to mention that we have to check our temperature in the morning it's like mandatory and once it's over 37.5 degrees Celsius I think we are asked to stay home because that's a sign that your body is fighting against something so yeah we definitely have to check our temperature in the morning and it's like general so that is definitely a positive thing Japan have this thing where like them foster this community sense or feeling vibe you get what I'm saying so in the classroom they eat in a classroom the school lunch in a classroom and they like put the chairs together and in a circle you know they eat when after ugly 19 rare it's head here they're like no 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 that you just eat at your desk that was something new for them very new for them so yeah they they kind of tried they cut out um peer activities in the classroom we couldn't do that no more peer activities so yeah that that was that yeah little effort um and next positive thing is that like in the supermarkets mall their hand sanitizer um ha they are their hand sanitizer what <laughs> they are hand sanitizers at the front desk or at the entrance of these buildings so supermarkets you can sanitize right there I think there's nobody spraying and telling you like what they're doing in Jamaica. It's just there. People, one thing about Japan is these people are like so honest. Nobody's not gonna take up the sanitizer or whatever with it or nothing like that. If they don't have no padlock or no chain over it, it's just there. You just, and you go to continue about your day. So, um, yeah, I like that they do that. At the cashier, they have this plastic shield thing, imagine so um you know they try to protect them their customers and their workers i guess so that's also another good thing and th this is in malls and all about and of course everybody in a mask so that is also good um the next thing is that there's a state of emergency here so you know with that everybody have the idea that okay we have to stay home and this is going to kind of segue into the negative thing because even though they 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 have declared you know a state of the emergency and all of that, it's like everybody still the atmosphere. I don't know how to put it. The atmosphere at first was like, all right, for my city, let me see. The atmosphere was like, okay, this thing ugly nineteen is far. It's over there. It's not here. So everybody's like business as usual. I mean, people. As I talk to from back home, they're like, how oh, is quarantine? I'm like, huh? I'm going to work same way, like, business as usual in my city. Especially because there weren't any cases here. So, it's like, business as usual. It's like, people still going to work and there's no stipulated time. So, mm, you kind of do the maths. So, yeah, that is it. The atmosphere is kind of still, like, kind of like nothing is happening, which... They kind of question how serious they're taking it, but that is another different story. <laughs> I, I was still going to work through this whole thing. Now I'm working from home, thankfully. So yeah, but when I was at work, like every time somebody coughs, it come like gunshot. Watch this, watch this. Of I see. But you know what the next thing um corona do to the people them to you can't cough. Nobody now have no cough again. Cough no come natural. You can't cough. If you cough right now, they run. I kinda like the idea of being at work, you know, preparing for when they come back without you know have to go into classes and any, and stuff like that. You now when it started to become a little serious, I was like, okay, I don't know where you've been, I don't know where you've been. So you know, but I've been working, I've been going to school up until 
April yeah so you know after preparing and for the kids and stuff and I'm you know the other teachers working and I'm like what can I do what else can I do they're like oh it's it's okay so I just spend the time and study Japanese <laughs> Other negative thing is that I don't like how the cases here it's like rapidly increasing. It's over eleven thousand cases here and I'm like ugly 19 in a plan for leave like you never get an invitation so yeah um and in my city it's mostly clusters but at the, at the on the other hand these persons go home and then when they go home they infect other persons and you don't know where they, they, those other persons have been so yeah it's 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 just a lot and i've been trying to be positive throughout this whole thing and yeah do my part i can wash my hands sanitize stay home turn on my yard um work from home and all of that so i'm grateful if you have lost someone in this time i pray that god will comfort you and your family it must be hard but I pray that you'll be comforted if you have someone that is working in the healthcare system on a call them check up on them if make them sleep you know don't call them and bother them 24 7 like me do with my mother she's a nurse don't do that <laughs> but when you call them um, kind of make them laugh a little cheer them up encourage them and allow them to sleep um, when they can that is and uh, you know if you're a christian just continue to maintain your relationship with god if you're you know you want god always good just continue there are always deeper depths and higher heights to go and if you're not yet a christian maybe you can take this time and say god reveal yourself to me i want to know you more and stuff like that so um that's it for this video please don't forget to like subscribe to my channel um, look out for more videos, comment, and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, I'm just stay safe.